Hello, Justin. This is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be building some Chrome extensions. You know those little icons that show up here on the top right corner of uh, the Chrome browser? These little icons each add some kind of functionality to the browser or to a specific website that you visit. Now creating them is really easy. We're just going to go into here and we're going to create a folder. We'll just create this folder called bear. We'll go into that folder and we're going to create a file called manifest.json. Now within this manifest.json file, we need at least three things. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to name our extension. So we'll name this uh, bear. And we're going to give it a version. And since it's the first one, we'll just say version 1.0. And then the next thing we need to do is give it a version of the manifest. So we'll say manifest underscore version 2. Now we save that file and go over here to Chrome and click these little three dots here. Go down to more tools and open up our extensions, or you can go to Chrome and uh, colon slash slash extensions and load the extensions. From here, we want to enable developer mode by toggling this little toggle over here. And then we're going to go and click on load unpacked to load an unpacked extension. And then we can navigate over to our extension folder. So here in code, how to make code. And we're going to load this, this extension here bare from the folder we created. And voila! We've created a Chrome extension. Well, okay, I like short videos, but that was too short. So let's write some more code. Probably the most common thing you'll do is have your extension inject some kind of script when you visit a certain website. And to do that, we're gonna use a content script. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna create a file called content.js. And in this file, we're just going to alert out Error, like such. And then we need to tell our manifest JSON um, that we want to load this content scripts. So we'll say content underscore scripts. And we'll pass this an array of different scripts that we want to run. And then we're going to specify a matches key. And so this will be a, a list of uh, matching patterns or URLs that we want to run this content script on, such as You'd put Google here, uh, google.com, if you only want it to run on google.com or whatever website you want. But what we're going to do is we want it to run on all URLs. So we're going to put in all URLs here. And then the script that we want to run is going to be the name content.js, the file that we created. So now we go over here to our extensions and we click this little refresh icon here to refresh our extension. And now every time we go to a page, you'll see we get a alert that says GUR. And even when we go to other pages, we will get a page growling at us every single page we go on the internet. Now having every page on the internet growling at you is fun, but let's pretend you have an unhealthy obsession with bears and wanted a button to quickly count how many times the word bear appears on a page. And to do that, we're going to create a pop-up or rather a little page, a little HTML thing that opens up when we click on this uh, extension button here. So to do that, let's go over here and create a file called popup.html. And within this file, we're just going to add a button. Uh, it's a full HTML page, so let's create that. And then we'll add the button. And a button will say count bears button. Now we got to tell our manifest JSON about this little pop-up button. And so we want to say when our extension is clicked um, to open up that pop-up. And so to do that, we could say browser underscore action. And we're going to pass it a key uh, called default pop-up. So it's basically what will happen by default when you click on the icon. And by default, what we want to do is open up our popup.html. And we can give this a title. So we'll say default title. And we can just give it the title bear. So now when we go over to our extensions and refresh it, we can click on our icon here and you'll see we now get a little pop-up with a button that says count bears. So next let's create a file called popup.js to go along with our popup.html. And we're going to have our popup HTML load this in a script tag here, popup.js. And I'm going to copy and paste this just to save on some typing, but what it basically says is we're going to add an event listener to the document that waits for everything to be loaded. It waits for the, the all the HTML and the pop-up stuff to load. And once it's there, we're going to find in that document the button. And since there's only one button here, um, I can 
do it the lazy way by saying query selector button to find that button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event listener here um, that says when you, when it's clicked, we're going to call this function called uh, click here. And so in this function click, we can uh, we can handle what we want to do when that button's clicked. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to find all the instances of bear in the page. Now, right now, we're in this pop-up.js, which was loaded through this script tag here. So by searching the page, uh, searching the document here, we're not going to find much because we're only searching this here. What we actually need to do is we need to communicate with our content script, our content JS that loads and is injected in the page uh, to actually search the, the contents of the page. So to send that message, we're going to use an API available to Chrome extensions by typing in Chrome tabs query. And what we're doing is we're, we're going to query the tabs for the current active tab open. And so we'll say current window true and active true and when this query finishes it will give us uh, all the tabs that it matches here hopefully will be one and so now we can send a message to our content script by calling chrome tabs send message and we got to give it the the tab id that we want to send it to so we'll say tabs and we'll just use the first one uh, id and we're going to send just a simple message that says hi so now jumping back over to our content script we are going to use the API Chrome runtime on message add listener and anytime it messages sent we will get uh, this this function called here um, and the request will be the message that was sent so we'll just simply alert that out we can comment that part out go over to our extensions refresh it refresh the page to inject the new content script into the page and now when we click on our extension and click on our bit count button bears we get that message injected into our our content script so this is great because our content script has access to all the contents on this page so what we can do is we can create a new regular expression here new reg expression and we're just going to search for instances of bear so that should be in quotes and we're just going to search the entire the entire string and it's going to be case insensitive um, and so then we'll just get the matches by saying uh, look in document document element just the entire document um, and we're going to look in the inner HTML of the entire document and match everything against that regular expression this should find every single instance of bear in the page so now what we can do is uh, one of the arguments that this uh, add listener um, will give us is a way to send a response to it. So uh, it's the third argument. The second one is the sender. And the third argument is going to be send response. So now we can use the send response to send back how many matches, how many times bear matches on the page. So say send response, say count matches dot length. So then back in our popup.js, we can add a third argument um, that gets called when we, when we call send response from our content script. So we'll just name this function uh, called set count. It says function set count, and this will be the response that was sent. So now anytime this function is called, we're just going to create a div. So we'll say document create elements div. And the text content of this div will be how many bears it found on the page. So we'll say text content equals uh, res and count, because we called it count here in this object. So we'll say res count uh, bears. And then the last thing we do is just add um, this to our pop-up document body. So we'll say document body append child and append the div. So let's go test this out. And by going to our extensions, refreshing our extensions, and then also refreshing the page here. And let's just go back to the, the bear page here and because it hopefully will have more bears. Um, and so we'll click on our extension and then let's count them. And look at that. Wow, 1,165 bears or instances of bears on the bear Wikipedia page. Now what if we wanted to count the bears on multiple pages and then compare them? Right now, our content script will run per page that we load uh, per the matching URL that we have specified here in our manifest JSON. And then our pop-up script will run every time the pop-up is shown by clicking on our extension icon here. 
So what we're gonna need is something to run in the background. Um, so how about a background script? Let's create a file called background.js, background.js. And then let's go to our manifest.json and let's tell it about this background script. So let's say background, and this is an object, and we'll say scripts, and we'll feed it an array, and we'll give it the name background.js. So now we can go to our content script, and instead of having it wait for a message being sent by our pop-up, we are gonna instead uh, try to match all the bears on the page at every time um, a page is visited. So we'll copy this stuff out here, comment this out, this will match all instances of bears. And then what we want to do is we want to send a message to our background script. So we'll do that by saying Chrome runtime, send message, and we'll give it a payload here. And so we'll say the URL, because we want to know where uh, where did we count these bears. So we'll say location ref, and we'll give it the count. So count matches that length. So then in our background script, we can listen for this message here. So we'll say Chrome runtime on message add listener and it'll call this callback when we get that message and this has the same parameter so we'll say request sender send response and then what we want to do is just keep track of the pages and the bears and the, and the, the counts of the bears that were sent so we'll do we'll just create a variable here called bears and this will be a hash and what we'll do is we'll just populate this hash by saying bears uh, request URL equals the request count of how many bears per that URL is uh, how many how many instances we found of that bear uh, of the word bear on that URL so now we need a way to show all that data that we're collecting and I think it'd be good that when we click this button rather than opening up this pop-up it opens up a page and it shows us the stats of all the pages we visited and the count of how many times bear appears on that page so let's go over here to our manifest JSON and rather than the default pop-up opening this pop-up, we're going to have instead, we're going to have our background script handle that, that click action instead. So then we're going to go here to our background script and we're going to say Chrome uh, browser action, browser action on click. So when our, uh, when our little extension um, is clicked, we are going to add a listener here. So we'll say listener function. And it's going to call this callback, and it's going to give us the, the tab of which was clicked. But what we want to do is we want to open up a new tab with our pop-up HTML that we're going to populate with this data. And so we'll say Chrome tabs create. And we'll give it the URL here, and it'll be our pop-up.html file. Now, there are certain APIs in Chrome extensions that you need to have special permissions for, that you need a request from the user that let them know that you're going to be doing some things. And one of those things is creating new tabs, you need to ask for permission. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our manifest JSON and we need to add another key here called permissions. Permission. So I spelled that right. And in here, we're going to give it a, a list of the permissions that this extension requires in order to run. And so to create a new tab, we need to use the tabs, uh, the tabs permission. Cool. So now that we're opening a new tab with our pop-up.html, we no longer need this button here, so we can comment that out. And then here in the button, it, or here in the pop-up JS script itself, we don't need any of this anymore, so we can comment all that out. But still, when the page loads, we want to do some things. And the first thing we want to do is we want to get this background page. We want to access what's going on here in the background page. Because the background page is just like the, the pop-up, is its own HTML document and its own thing that we can access. So to access the background, we just need to create a variable here, and we will say Chrome extension uh, get background page, get background page. And this will give us access to that background page uh, window. So since this is the background page window, if we want to access the data that we're collecting in there, we need to expose it on there. So instead of over here, instead of just saying const bears, what we're going to do is we're going to say window bears, and we're going to put this on our, our window object here. Now when we go over here to our pop-up, we now have access to that bears um, variable here by saying uh, the background bears. So we now have access to that variable here. So let's go ahead and loop through it. And so we'll say object keys, because it's a hash. 
and we'll do for each and the key of the hash is the URL so then we'll just create a div say document create element like a type create a div here and now the div con text content we will make it first we'll just say the URL and use a colon and then we'll use the uh, the count of how many bears and so to do that we'll say bg bears and then we'll use the url key to get that count number so lastly let's add this div to our document body so document body append child div and this will add all the bears that we've collected and in our background script and it will and populate it in our uh, popup.html so let's go see if all this works we'll go here to our extension we'll reload our extension We'll go here to the page. And now we've just visited the bear page. Let's go here and visit the mammals page. We'll go back. And then maybe we'll visit the, the carnivore page here and see if there's any instance of bears there. So now we can go click on our extension and you'll see here, it now lists out all the pages that we visited and all the instances it has found the word bear on the page. Pretty cool. So hopefully this video has taught you how to make a, your own Chrome extension. And if it has, then please share the video and help others make Chrome extensions. Uh, and if you want to see more videos, then uh, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.